Hi there. Welcome to our lesson on the right hand slap rule. Quick summary of what we've already covered. A magnet, which is a dipole, has a north and south pole and produces a magnetic field, which can be described with lines drawn like so. Furthermore, a magnet is not the only thing that can produce a magnetic field. A moving charge, say a positive charge moving along a wire, can produce a magnetic field that comes out of the page up here and into the page down there, described by the right hand grip rule. We have not yet examined what happens to a charge when it moves through a magnetic field. And what happens is a charge moving through a magnetic field feels a force exerted on itself. So a magnetic field exerts a force on a moving charge, but only as long as that charge is moving. A stationary charge experiences no force. So let's draw a quick magnetic field. Magnetic field lines will be in yellow. And we'll have a positive charge moving in this direction here. The force has to be at both right angles to the magnetic field lines and the velocity. In this case, that would be either into or out of the page. And you can test that yourself. A line coming out of the page will form a right angle with this line across the page and this line here. The right hand part of the slap rule tells us in which direction it will come and that is out of the page. That's because, look at this hand here. If you put the fingers in the direction of the magnetic field and the thumb in the direction of motion of the charge, the force will come directly out of the palm. Hence the slap part of the rule. Because if this right hand were slapping out of the page towards our faces, the force of the slap would be directly out of the page. So that is the quality of the force. It's perpendicular to the magnetic field lines and the motion. And we can visualize it by placing our hand on the picture, thumb in the direction of the velocity, fingers in the direction of the force of the magnetic field lines, and the palm, the direction of the palm will show us the direction of the force. So a little challenge now. Say we've got a magnetic field coming out of the page and two charges, a positive charge and a negative charge, both moving across the page like that. In which direction is the force on these charges? Well, our fingers are going to be pointing towards us. Our hand is going to be straight, not curled like the right hand grip rule, but totally straight. So our fingers are coming out of the page. The, uh, with our right hand, the thumb is pointing in the direction of the velocity. And if you're making the same motion I am, you'll see that the force is the direction your palm is facing, which is down like that. If you've got the force going this way, you might be using your left hand. Now with this charge down here, it's a negative charge, maybe an electron. So you can either use your left hand, which I wouldn't recommend because swapping between left and right hand could get you in the habit of using your left hand in the wrong case. So what I want you to do is point your thumb in that direction. Your fingers should be pointing towards your face. It looks like Leighton Hewitt doing the duck bill. And if you're making the same motion I am, Yes, this is a bit tricky. No, it's not the duckbill at all. My hand is upside down, basically. It's, this is a real twist. If you're making the same motion I am, your palm should be facing in an upward direction. So a positive charge and a negative charge are forced in opposite directions when traveling through a magnetic field. If I reverse the direction of this magnetic field, so it's now going into the page, 
the force on the positive charge is up and the negative charge is down like that. With single wires, the force is given by F equals Q V B, where Q is the charge, say the charge on one electron is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, because we work in coulombs. The velocity is just the velocity of the charge, and B describes the strength of the magnetic field. This is rarely tested. What is tested is wires, the force on wires. So say I have a wire here with a current through it of I, a magnetic field of B, and we'll, wait, we'll always assume the magnetic field is at right angles to the current. If the positive charge is flowing this way, the magnetic field is coming towards us, and you put your thumb in the direction of the current, your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, there will be a force on this wire in this direction here. The magnitude of this force is given by F equals BIL. And the N is there just in case there was more than one wire, because we'd count the force on both wires together. So in this case, N equals 1. Therefore, the force is equal to 1 BIL. So to fill in some real figures, say we've got a length of wire here of 2 meters. Sorry, L is the length of wire we're talking about. And I've got a magnetic field of 3 millitesla, and I'm pumping a current through of 10 amps. The force on this 2 meter section of wire, so the force is over the whole wire there, so the addition of all these individual forces, you know, discreetly or actually we'll say continuously applied to this wire is equal to N, which is 1, there's one wire, times B, which is 3 times 10, negative 3 teslas, times I, which is 10, times L, which is 2. And I have this coming to 0 0.06 newtons. So to summarize, Get your hand out, your right hand, always. Point your thumb in the direction of the flow of positive charge or opposite the flow of negative charge and your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field lines. That's easy to remember because magnetic field lines are often drawn in groups like fingers. Your palm will tell you the direction of the force. Moreover, it's a vector so it has both direction and magnitude, the formula F equals NBIL will give you the magnitude of that force.